Welcome to Sydney's Home and Garden. My name's Heidi and today I'm going to show you how to make a bow using ribbon that has wiring in it. So if you saw my last video using Cinema, you could see that it was really, really easy to just gather it in one hand. This way it's a little more complicated because you have the wire. So again, you're going to start out with however long of a tail you want. So on this one I'm going to make it a little bit longer in case you wanted to have it as a tree topper with long ribbons hanging down. So you're going to pinch the ribbon between your thumb and your index finger and then you're going to take the ribbon and create your first loop. So let's make it just about four inches wide. So again, you're going to take that and you're going to pinch it between the same two fingers. You're going to grab the other end of ribbon and this time you're going to fold it over itself in the opposite direction as you did the other loop. So just take a look, make sure your loops are the same size, and then pinch it in between your fingers. And now you're going to go in the other direction. So just straighten your ribbon out, it doesn't matter if it gets too coiled. Fold your loop in half, make sure it's the same size, and pinch in the center. So this time we go underneath, fold it over, make sure it's the same size, and pinch. On this one I'm going to have a total of six loops so I'm going to keep going to make two more. Pull the ribbon out, see that it's the same size, pinch it into your two fingers. And the last one, fold it over itself, pinch it together, so now that I have my bow with all my loops, I'm going to create the center one. So that's just the same way that you do the big loops, only you're just going to make it small. So you fold it, just something tiny, again, pinch it together between your two fingers. Now grab your wire, and you wrap it around the center, making sure to hold it really tight. Pull your end straight, and then twist it. So that your ribbons are secure. Take your tail, pull it down to match the other side of the ribbon so your tails are the same length. Thank you. So with the ends of your tails, you're going to take it and just cut it on an angle so you have a nice finished edge. And then, because the ribbon has wire in it, you can adjust it and play with it so that your loops stand up any which direction you like and with this your tails can hang down hope you enjoyed